also to go, so just get comfy on your mat and I will be with you in a minute or so. Just 
remain focused on that breath for these next few rounds of breath again. Softening the knees down, keeping the micro bend in the knees. 
Maybe bring your arms to right down here, as it comes to elbows, and just gently start to have a little rock from side to side. Staying connected with that breath. Maybe rocking the head from side to side. Not in the head, yes or no. And then just gently coming back into stillness here. Releasing the arms down, allowing the hands just to soften down in front of you. From here, inhale, taking the half where the left hands come onto the shins, finding length. Exhale, back, softening the knees down, the hands come onto the mat. Walking the hands forward, making way to your downward facing dog. Again, taking a nice inhale through the nose. Let it all out through the mouth. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze comes forward. Inhale, start to take some tiny little baby steps, bringing the feet in between the hands, coming into your halfway lift, finding light. Exhale, bow. Inhale, press through the feet, root to rise, pressing into the earth, hand comes all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Inhale, draw the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, hands come down to the mat, softening the knees down, bringing the feet towards the back of the mat, downward facing dog. And from your downward facing dog, inhale, starting to lift the heels. Now as you exhale, allowing those heels to swivel down to the right, taking a bend into the knees and drawing your hips towards the heels. So feel that nice stretch, that nice twist. Inhale, stretching the legs, lifting the heels back up towards the ceiling. And exhale, heels come down to the left, taking a bend into the knees, drawing the hips towards the heels. Inhale, straighten the legs, lifting the heels. And then from here, start to rip forward, so rippling through the spine, really enjoying that motion as you make way into your high plank, and then exhale, press hips back up towards the sky, downward facing dog. We'll do that again, so inhale, lift the heels, again really enjoying that undulating motion through the spine, coming all the way into your high plank, and then exhale, press the hips up towards the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Again, rippling way through the spine, making your way into your high plank. And then from here, we'll do knees, chest, chin, first off the light, bringing the knees down. Elbows come in towards the mat, as you lower down the press, chest first and then the chin. Rippling forward as you inhale, hands come beside the head, taking your little baby cobra. Exhale, coming all the way down. Hands come in towards the rib cage, tucking the toes under, pressing through your tabletop, coming into your downward facing dog. And from your downward facing dog, three legged dog, so raising your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bringing your right knee to your right elbow, taking a crunch. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, bringing your right knee to your left elbow, taking a twist. Inhale, three legged dog. This time, as you exhale, knee comes in towards the chest. Lift that right foot in between the hands. And then when you arrive, just slowly drawing that left knee down, coming to your low lunge. Inhale, releasing the arms and the hands. Hands come up towards the sky, gaze comes up. Exhale, drawing the hands to breath. Hands come to the heart centre. Take a twist to the right, and bringing your left elbow onto the right knee, turning into a twist. So really using the elbow on the knee as leverage to really twist through that spine. Breathe in here. Exhale, making your way into your downward facing dog. 
This time taking a twist to the left and drawing your right knee onto your left elbow. You can use that elbow on the knees, leverage to really twist through that spine. Breathing here, breathing into that twist. Reaching for your 
bend through that right knee, bringing that gaze forward. Now slowly start to be coming back into a high crescent lunge. So starting to pivot on that back foot, maybe widening the stance slightly. Let's take a moment to arrive here. Take an inhale in. And as you exhale, start to hinge forward the hips, coming into your aeroplane arms. So reach the fingertips towards the back of the room. Slowly starting to step your left foot in and then coming into your warrior three. Taking a flex through that left foot. And then from here, slowly, as you can do that with me, floating that leg down, now making your way into your stock pose, taking a bend into that left knee, reach your fingertips up towards the sky. Relaxing your shoulders down, taking an inhale. 
to draw your mind back to the breath. to your physical body, and maybe just gently starting to wiggle the fingers and the toes, starting to take some gentle movements of the wrists and the ankles, and then if it feels good for you, maybe starting to reach the arms, the hands over the head, coming into a nice big body stretch. Reaching through the fingers, reaching through the toes. And just slowly start to draw the knees in towards the chest. And then when you're ready, just start to make your way over onto one side. So just whichever side you naturally roll over onto. We will meet in a comfortable seat, so just slowly starting to bring yourselves up. No rush to arrive. And when you do arrive, just finding a comfortable seat, so maybe coming cross-legged or anywhere else that might be more comfortable for you. And just drawing our hands together to press, bringing the hands to your heart space and then drawing the eyelids down. And with gratitude for our practice today, and with gratitude for being able to continue our practice together using these virtual means, thank you so much everybody for joining. We bow our heads and say namaste. Thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day and I hope to see you all soon.